Great. Okay, uh, good afternoon everyone. Um, my, name, my name is RJ Thompson. I'm an interactive designer uh, and professor at uh, Youngstown State University. And um, I just want to make two things up front very clear. Uh, if I'm like dancing a little bit, it's not because I'm anxious, it's because my foot fell asleep. Uh, so please uh, pardon the uh, distraction there. And if I seem a little sluggish, uh, or a little slow on the take there, it's because uh, I did get a lot of sleep last night. My hotel is haunted, and I'll be happy to tell you about that uh, after I'm done with this. So, you know, I'm all over the place today, and I'm afraid that, you know, they're, they're still following me. But um, I, I do appreciate your time uh, uh, regarding my, my topic here. Uh, I run a program at uh, YSU called Youngstown Design Works. It's a student-run graphic and interactive design agency. Uh, it is in its first year of formation, and we have had a tremendous amount of success uh, with this program. So, uh, the point of origin. Uh, this, uh, in fall 2013, uh, we started the conversation of creating Youngstown Design Works. YSU did not have a formalized uh, design practicum in a sense that you know, it's a group, it's an agency. We wanted to create that for our students so they could get real world professional practice well before they graduated. So that way, when they did graduate, they could enter the workforce, they could start their own uh, agency, they could become a dedicated freelancer, or, you know, they could uh, perhaps ascend into a higher position in a company with uh, their relative experiences from this program. Our first project was for the Salem Public uh, Library. Now, up front, we're doing a lot of branding, all right? A lot of the organizations that we work with mostly is branding, okay? Um, of which, all the images I will show you towards the end. Um, but really, our purpose here is to do good design work for good people. So, uh, we completed the, the project for Salem uh, Public Library. They invested in our work, they paid us $1,500 for a fully immersive brand identity experience. Um, and it took six or seven months to finalize, but we got there and the students were stronger for it. And they truly understood what the process was like. So having had that experience, we reviewed, made adjustments, and moved our program forward. In the summer of 2014, I had a heavy uh, teaching load, specifically in the interactive classes. And I decided, hey, let's take this Design Works program on the road. Let's make a full investment in a community and really put this, this concept to the test. So we set up shop in Warren, Ohio. Um, and to preface, the, the Mahoning Valley area is certainly an area in revival. Um, once the steel towns left in the late 70s, uh, everything sort of came crashing down. Mass population. Uh, decline, all right, economic decline. So we're trying to uh, use design as a catalyst for economic growth and change. Our partner in this event was Warren Redevelopment, which is a government-based uh, organization uh, with some separation, but uh, they financed our, our whole uh, pop-up shop. So uh, by the numbers, we set up shop in uh, we set up pop up shop uh, in an old radio station in the main uh, square, and uh, we were hoping to get you know twenty five or so clients, maybe make two grand or so, uh, and uh, have some of the students participate. Not necessarily all, but some. What we actually got was mind blowing. Okay. We had 25 scheduled meetings before the pop-up even started. Uh, we had 42 total meetings scheduled by the end of the pop-up. Only four scheduled meetings were no-shows. Students learned a valuable lesson there. Okay? 25 logo design projects, five websites, two t-shirts, two trifold brochures, one project infographic, rack cards, so on and so forth. At the end of this five-day period, we had $10,000. $300 in committed commissions by the end of the event. All of that money is reinvested into the Youngstown Design Works program, which will eventually go on to hopefully give our students scholarships or create jobs for them on campus managing this agency. Um, and uh, 
we had three uh, particular organizations come to us and say, hey, we really like your, your space here. It's an old radio station. It's pretty cool. Can we rent it from you? And I'm like, it's not ours. Uh, talk to Warren Redevelopment, and uh, I believe they have since filled that space. So aside from us being able to provide high quality work on a low impact budget for, uh, for a lot of organizations in the Warren area, uh, the, the, the town itself was able to prosper with the uh, renting of that particular property. So, the attitudes. Clients from Warren were excited to have access to our services, and we completed a majority of those projects from Warren, but not all of them. Okay? Many of you are familiar with the phrase, low-hanging fruit. With all due respect to my friends in Warren, we did get some of those clients. And those were really hard lessons for my students to learn, putting a lot of effort and drive into a particular logo project and it falling through. If only because the clients had maybe no particular aesthetic taste or they had no idea how to incorporate design into their business. Many, many different variables here. So, how do we shift the attitude? I always stress to my students that they must educate their clients on what design is. Just because a client owns or runs a business does not automatically mean they understand marketing or business ownership or how to make money. So, in an effort to combat that, any meetings we had after this particular pop-up event included a plugged-in uh, component where we taught people what design is. Not just graphic design, interactive design, design as a concept, design thinking. So, duplicating this success, Warren was huge for us, okay? It put our, uh, our agency on the map, okay? On the Mahoning Valley map. So we wanted to continue this uh, with a new event uh, called an in-house event. And for those of you that uh, may be unfamiliar with the term in-house, basically it's having a design department in your corporation or in your business. I'm sure all of you are very familiar with that particular uh, term. So the new event is Youngstown Design Works in-house. Uh, don't laugh on that pun or play on words. Uh, although it was uh, appreciated uh, amongst several stakeholders. So, review, adjust, implement. Let's take the best of what worked before with our pop-up and make it better. Our in-house event was at a uh, community-driven incubator called Oak Hill Collaborative. With this event, we didn't want to double or triple our numbers, our income, or population, the amount of people that we're meeting with. We wanted to create more unique impressions, more uh, sustainable interactions uh, that endured well beyond the event. Okay? By the numbers, we had roughly 54 meetings in a five-day period. Six to ten walk-ins. One client no-shows, so we're seeing a decline on that. 27 logo projects, six WordPress-based website projects, trifolds, ad campaigns, website analyses. Okay? Uh, at various points, intro level students were paired with upperclassmen to work through the process. And in some cases, that group worked with some of the clients. Uh, the event was covered by local news media, be it print, web, or television. Economic development uh, representatives from Congressman Ryan's uh, office, he's the Mahoning Valley District, uh, came down, visited with us. Uh, tried to understand the process and how they could help, how they could give benefit to, to our particular goals. Uh, a community liaison from Senator Brown, Brown's office, also Mahoning Valley was there. And the mayor uh, was kind enough as well to show up and uh, lend a hand or even uh, make recommendations to some of his counterparts in, in the business community to come on over and get a consultation, support what we're doing here, even if you don't buy services or not, support this uh, particular initiative. So, we've had two pop-up events, over a hundred different meetings. We're having just tremendous success, all within six or seven months. Um, now we start to hit a wall a little bit. Bandwidth concerns. The Oak Hill Collaborative experience blew us away. We determined that we had a very real program on our hands. 
uh, and certainly one that was sustainable and could endure for a long time. But bandwidth issues, in addition to semester scheduling, uh, created a lot of incompatibility with expectations in the business community. So that alone uh, needed us to revise not only how we're teaching design to the business community, but how to manage their expectations. We experience critical mass, and you can't see it from maybe your vantage point, but I have a lot of white hair, um, and it's because of this particular, uh, this particular scenario. So, leveling out. We're past halfway point of completion on all of the projects that remain in good standing. Uh, some of the clients, they decided that whatever we completed for them was enough, and they went off and did their own thing, maybe hired a freelancer. That's great. We just gave a freelancer in the community a job, okay? Um, some understood the process and decided to be patient and wait it out. Because a lot of these folks didn't need design in order to succeed, uh, at least immediately. So they were willing to wait, right? They didn't have deadlines. So, our longest standing clients, though, they stood with us, they waited patiently, and they worked with us. So, nearing the end of this first year, we are celebrating a healthy reputation, a healthy mission, and a healthy bottom line. We're making a lot of money for our students that will be reinvested back to them, all right? Jobs, scholarships, trips, new software, new technology, whatever. Uh, that's what that money is there for. Since April, we've raised close to that $10,000 mark uh, in Mahoning Valley communities. Um, this is all within the first year. Everything is growing, event participation, student retention, quality of work. Everything is growing and it's incredible. So, where are we going from here? Pop-ups are on hold until next fall because I am an expecting parent and I don't know how I'm going to handle critical mass on top of a child. Uh, <clears throat> we created a, uh, an iOS app called Root that was intended to promote economic development and tourism not only on the city but the county level. Uh, that is in development and is uh, celebrating some, some success in terms of uh, financial support. I myself, uh, I'm doing more learning lab sessions at the Youngstown Business Incubator, which is the number one ranked university affiliated incubator in the entire world found in Youngstown. Our clients are coming back for repeat immersions in design to figure out how their business can benefit. I'm going to be presenting this again in South Dakota. Um, and we're redesigning the city of Youngstown's branding, their corporate seal, their website. We're building an app for our friends at Oak Hill Collaborative. We are working on a publication for the Center for Urban and Regional Studies to promote vacant land in the city of Youngstown, hoping to sell that to prospective uh, business owners. And we've just got more and more clients to go through. The experiences. We want to make the best possible solutions for our clients, but good, smart, strategic design takes time, and through the cultivation of uh, proper design teaching to these particular clients, they get that. So, here are uh, some images of the uh, pop-up experience. This is my uh, current class. We've got eight people in the Youngstown Design Works program. We have our own office on campus with its own computer lab. We invite our clients up regularly. Uh, and I am hands off. The students conduct the, the meetings and I step in when I have to. Uh, but for the most part, these are our elite level students, the cream of the crop, and I trust them all completely to work with our clients. <laughs> this is one of the more uh, fun stories from the Youngstown Design Works program. Big Cricket Farms is essentially that, a cricket farm. Their whole mission is to provide protein supplement through eating crickets. Um, they've blown up in Youngstown. Uh, they, they have support from the Business Incubator, uh, Oak Hill Collaborative, the community. Um, and they've been incredible to work with. They are 100% trusting in us. And that is the ideal situation that 
any practicing designer can hope for. This is a banner that we did on the side of the Youngstown Business Incubator. It's four stories tall. One of the uh, more exciting things about this uh, particular project is that uh, we get to rebrand neighborhoods. And now we're rebranding Youngstown. Imagine having an entire city to yourself to you know, redesign, letting your graphic design work uh, just permeate the, the landscape. It's incredible opportunity. Some pro bono work for Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. This work was actually seen in Pittsburgh, so we're starting to crawl out of Ohio and into some other areas. Center for Innovation and Additive Manufacturing. 3D printing is huge in Youngstown. It's created its own micro economy. Uh, it's going to keep growing and expanding. And uh, we were able to create a logo for this uh, particular center. Down here are the 3D uh, printed versions of the logo. Castle Community Improvement Corporation, they sell land, um, specifically to uh, companies like Walmart and Target. Some of our work for Oak Hill, some work for Youngstown Police, hey we're on good terms with them, can't ask for anything better, uh, and they've been actually really great to work with. Some basic advertising for our events. Myself working with one of our clients, that gentleman there is a dentist. And this is quite possibly uh, the best image of the bunch. And this is the fully collaborative, immersive experience at DesignWorks where the students are discussing website design work that they're doing for another library. And I'm in the middle and we're having this constructive collaborative conversation with our clients in the room who unfortunately are behind us. Um, this experience has, has been fantastic and it's only going to grow and expand and hopefully blow up and uh, create more good work for the Youngstown community. Um, and uh, it's really exciting to see my students design work in the community before they graduated. And to have that experience as a young designer, seeing your logo on something big, like that four-story banner, it's incredible. You can't ask for anything better. So I appreciate your time, and uh, thank you very much.